since this is black genealogy, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Why is this. that a little bit more difficult? Because the records are sporadic. When you do the difference between the genealogy, between the black and the white, mm -hmm. is before the 60s, they were segregated. So you would go to the marriage licenses. They say marriage licenses, see, and they're colored. Color. And the other ones would say white. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never seen a water fountain that said colored mm -hmm. or white. Right. This is probably one of the first times I've seen a mm -hmm. book that says marriage license colored. Mm -hmm. As an African American, most of us have this sense of pride that we have come from the motherland of Africa. And when you go back to the beginning of the Bible, when you go back to Adam and Eve, the beginning is out of Africa. And if so, who am I connected to? How do you connect with it? How does that impact who you are? Those are the answers that I'm looking for. I've been told that tracing African ancestry through written records can be difficult. So I'm taking a DNA test to see what my genes will reveal about my ancestors. Are you anticipating what you're gonna find out? Well, I'm gonna find out probably some key information on my drive, my determination, my passion for certain things. Uh, we all are connected one way or another, and it's by the blood, some way, shape, or form. Now, how that connection ties back to me, that's what I'm looking to find out. So now I have a chance to go back and truly understand how I became Emmett James Smith III. Hi. Hi, babies. Hi. Bye, babies. We're going to miss you. Mm -hmm. Have a safe flight. Mm -hmm. I hope you find what you're looking for. Love you. Bye, Daddy. There's only one place for me to start my journey, and that's Pensacola, Florida. It's the town where I grew up, and it's the home of my parents. I know very little about my grandparents' background, and I'm hoping that my mom and my father will be able to shed some light on the clouded areas that I have. Grandmama, mm -hmm. Emily, and me. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we, as a family, talk a lot about granddaddy's background? They had a hard time coming up. There were times they didn't have anything to eat. You, right. you know, they didn't want to talk about what happened back in the older days. With that said, how about my grandmama, Irma Lee? Give me a little bit of her background. Well, mama was the oldest of her uh, brothers and sisters. So Always, if you came up wrong, yeah. you, you, you felt the wrath. <laughs> you felt the wrath. But I mean, if you needed anything, she always had it. Never wanted for anything. If I was to start on grandmama's side, mm -hmm. where should I start? There is a website that your cousin Vernon Watson developed. On my grandmother's side, Irma Lee stemmed from Burnt Corn, Alabama. Heard of it, but I don't think I've ever been there. Hmm. This is the beginning. These are old photos. There's Mr. William and Mrs. Victoria Watson. According to the Watson family website, my father's mother, Irma Lee Watson, is the granddaughter of Bill and Victoria Watson, making them my great-great-grandparents. I'm gonna have to go to Burn Corn. Hey, let's go to Burn Corn. <laughs> I feel like a, like a detective on a hunt, trying to find clues. Wow. Look like a deserted town. I may have dreamt this. You can see over there the U.S. Post Office at Burnt Corn, Alabama. I tell you what, after looking at this, if I'm gonna find out any more about the Watsons, I'm gonna need some help, because I'm not gonna get it from these buildings. These buildings don't talk back to me. I'm gonna knock on some doors to find out where are the Watsons. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Fine. And I'm looking for some information on some people. I'm looking for some Watsons. You're looking for some Watsons? Yeah, and I have this photo here. Bill and Victoria. Watson, 
Mm-hmm. We are descendants of them. We mm -hmm. and and you and me. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm Emmett. Who are you? I'm Joe. You're Joe. <laughs> uh huh. Joe Watson. Joe Watson Jr. Wow. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I thought I'd recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. I think you met my father when he was down in Pensacola down in some of them family reunions. And your daddy. It's Joe Watson. It's Joe Watson. And your grandfather. Who's your grandfather? Was Mob. Mob. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you are Joe Jr. As it turns out, <laughs> Bill and Victoria are Joe's great grandparents, making him my second cousin. I'm looking for some more detailed information that would help me understand them more, and even go further. You need to go to the Monroe County Courthouse. The Monroe County Courthouse. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that the courthouse holds the records that I need to go deeper into my family's past. Emmett Smith is tracing his family roots, trying to find a path back to Africa. So far, his search has taken him to his grandmother's birthplace of Burnt Corn, Alabama, where he has just met another descendant of the Watsons. Now he's heading to the Monroeville County Archives to meet with Dawn Crook. Hello, you must be Dawn. I am. I'm Emmett. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Um, I was told that you could help me find some information out on the Watson family All right. out of burnt corn. White or black? Black. OK. Since this is black genealogy, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Why is that a little bit more difficult? Because the records are sporadic. When you do. The difference between the genealogy, between the black and the white, mm -hmm. is before the 60s, they were segregated. So you would go to the marriage licenses. They say marriage licenses, see, in the color. And the other ones would say white. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never seen a water fountain that said colored mm -hmm. or white. Right. This is probably one of the first times I've seen a mm -hmm. book that says marriage license colored. Mm -hmm. Wow. When I saw that book that had colored on it, I really felt the power of segregation. I can understand how our people felt isolated and separate from America. And that is painful, very painful. I'm trying to figure out how my family uh, fit in with Bill Watson and Victoria Watson. All right, we'll go to the census records. That's the easiest way. You go to Ancestry.com, and this is something you can do at home, OK? okay. All right. Um, now we're going to go to the 1900 census. OK. All right, try there. OK, there's Bill, Bill Watson. Watson. Right. OK, so he's the head of the house. Mm -hmm. There's Victoria, the wife. OK. William Watson was born in 1862. Right. Victoria was born in 1864, Right. all right? Uh, being born before 1865, does it say anything to you? They were slaves. Mm -hmm. 